So when I hook up to the uh, tree, it doesn't really show it. It's back at the back, very back of the trailer. So I'm going to give you a demonstration of how that worked. Um, what I, I would do is I would go here to the winch. I would break it loose to let it extend out. I would extend as much of that as I possibly could because when you get to the uh, to the rope, you want to use less or more of the wire, like you want more of it stretched out and go up the rope, you know, less of the rope, so where the two meet. So you want to send this all the way out so you have more pulling length because you don't want to run out of pull length when you're using like a winch or a, anything that has something attached. Um, so I would just extend this all the way out, open the shackle up, and I would find the spot on the rope where I could put a midline knot and connect it. I would, you know, tie that off. I had already went to the tree, took a throw ball, threw it up in the tree and anchored it off. And then I extended the rope down the uh, road and I found the two points where they met, put the midline knot in, anchored it off. So then I walked back to the trailer and you see me walk over to this and engage again. Then that's where the guy at the trailer would go ahead take the button and he would start to tighten it up. I think it was me actually. So we get it all the way tight and then we'll go back to the job where you can see it getting done. Here I'll show you the uh, we gotta squeeze it in here and from this distance the tree don't look that that big it's it's probably probably 80 90 I don't think it's quite a hundred. <laughs> so I have to I have to cut me an area around it with a bunch of freaking briars, but uh, yeah, let me get up on it. And you can see the tree. Pretty good 
size. Um, the back view of it. It does have a good lean. Well, I think we've basically put that lean into it by tightening it up. But you can see how tight the uh, little area we got to drop it through there is. But it'll fit. It, it'll fit. So, let me, uh, let me get my saw, get my cut made, and I'll cook you guys back in right before we get going here. Yeah, I'll get it. Okay, 
so this is actually what we're using in the video to do the uh, to pull the trees over so this is a uh, trailer crane that I built from a truck crane and then mounted a winch on it that is has a remote control plug in that we'll use and I'll show you I'll show you how I use that and how we anchored it I'll do a demonstration since in the video it doesn't show it so go ahead and hit that and lowers it down tighten it back up this jack allows you to increase the height extra details on this and a full live feed that will be the day after this video comes out so make sure you if you want to see it make sure you make it stay safe Word of advice to any of my other, you know, people that watch my videos, also go out and do work on trees, try to prune and stuff like that. Removals, you know, as long as you don't mess anything up when you're doing it, it's hard to mess that up, you know. But when you're pruning or you're cleaning and you're trying to do something to uh, to help the tree, don't lie. If you if you don't know what's going to happen, be upfront. I mean, don't don't be one of the people, one of them guys that that say whatever it takes to get the money. Because it's, it's eventually, if you're lying, it's, it'll be figured out. So, look. You see this? She's in bad, 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 bad shape. insane this stuff was trimmed years ago and the tree guy which that's what I'm gonna start calling anybody that like just does it for the fun of doing it and doesn't really care I, I, I gotta figure out a name I don't want to call him what I should call him I don't want to be mean, but <coughs> lying ain't going to get you anywhere. So, lie to the customer now. And then you never, you know, you build a bad rapport, you get a bad name. It's just not worth it, in my opinion. She was told that this will all fall off. Here a few months. Just give you a few months. It'll fall off. And look what it's done. Look at the moisture that's been held. Where was I at the other day where I could see? It's just right in here. Oh, look at this. That's dirt. That's dirt because it is starting to decompose your bark. Right behind your bark is your cambium. Which is the living aspect of the tree. When you kill it, the tree's done. So, they did their thing here. And as you can see, they made a bunch of cuts into the tree. Cut the tree up, 